It is now time for Inside the Sports. My name is Moses Wachis and let's begin with some athletics news where we know that uh, this year's edition of the Africa Under-18 and also Under-20 combined CAA Championship is set to be held in uh, Zambia. And the Kenyan team, the organizers, they're saying that uh, they are optimistic that Kenya is going to have a formidable and very, very prosperous outing. On that front, 50 athletes that is in the under-20 and also under-18 category, will be having the national trials uh, this weekend, and a team will be selected that will be traveling to represent the country during the SAID championship. Barnaba Kurir has uh, been uh, very vital in making sure that the youth are set up here in the country and also development in the world of athletics. Gets the attention that it deserves, I say that everything is set, and they are confident that also this time out, Kenya is going to top the medal rankings. We have released the, the, the calendar of uh, activities going on uh, from Friday and Saturday and also the preparation of the venue, the stadium which is going to be uh, Nyao National Stadium. We have already uh, set the electronic timing machine because this event actually will be used for uh, data collection from World Athletics and uh, you know they have a different format nowadays that uh, they don't um, certify all the events that take place in the country so we only use a few of those events so that uh, we can give it to uh, uh, the world athletics so that they can use it as uh, statistical purposes for athletes and if they qualify then they can be used any other event uh, will not be accepted unless it has been certified by World Athletics. We won the under-18 uh, in uh, Ivory Coast. We were second to South Africa in the under-20. But overall, metal tally, uh, we were number one. Uh, what we need to do now is uh, to make sure that we retain our title in the under-18 and also retain the, the position on number one in under-20. So that is uh, where we are now, but I believe that uh, we are going to have a very strong team like the last time also. We are taking quite a number of athletes there. We want to average around 25-25 uh, for both uh, teams. That's about 50. Uh, I'm, I'm, I believe that what we did in uh, Dar es Salaam uh, about four weeks ago, we, we can replicate in Zambia. Uh, the introduction of the Piano Classic uh, in the last... Uh, four years has been really phenomenal because it has given opportunity now for our sprinters also to compete here in the country among the best of the world. And Omanyala, uh, having won at home ground twice, has really elevated this event uh, and created a lot of interest from the public. Before, uh, Kenyans used to talk about the middle and long distance, but now they are realizing that they have also um, talent. Uh, deep talent in, uh, in in the in the short races, and that's why you saw uh, the turnout was huge during the weekend meetings that we had in Nairobi and also in Gisumu and other various places also in the country. That uh, in the 100 meters, 200 meters, up to 400 meters, we had the hits going up to average of 15. Something that has never happened before. So it means that there is a lot of talent in this country for the uh, sprints, and we have also focused mainly on those. Uh, two events, the, the middle, I mean the short uh, events and also the real events. When we went to Dar es Salaam, we ensure that the majority of the artists that went there were from the 100, 200 and 400 meters and also the field events. We want also to do the same thing that if we have artists that qualify for, uh, especially under 20, in the 100, 200 meters we are going to take those who have qualified. The um, uh, eight, under 18 uh, we will take one, two, up to three, considering their performance because they don't require the qualification standards. Athletes Kenya uh, has partnered with the Ministry of Education, both primary and secondary schools, especially in, um, in nurturing talent. We have coaches that have been trained by uh, Athletes Kenya, also with World Athletics, to ensure that they have the capacity to train them within, within the schools. And um, the discussion between Athletes Kenya and the government in, in establishing curriculum for sports activities like before, like many years when we were in school, is also enhanced and there's a big possibility that it is going to happen. So that uh, information is passed on to the athletes when they are young and they're in school 
uh, as they grow they understand the dangers of doping and you have seen also now uh, this uh, doping menace has become an issue for this country so we don't want to become a culture or a behavior that will destroy athletics in Kenya. Uh, recently we had a visit from uh, the head of uh, AIU and, and the idea was uh, because we were almost being panned again in uh, 20, uh, uh, 2022, um, the government of Kenya with uh, World Athletics, AIU, agreed to, to set aside $5 million by year, that's about $600 million, for the purposes of fighting uh, doping. And they established a steering committee uh, that comprises of the Ministry of Sports, uh, two people, two people from AIU, two people from ADAC, and two people from AK. That steering committee is the one now who is going to manage the issues of doping, and we have set up now the systems that will be uh, implemented as soon as possible. Really, I have worked very closely with them once. Uh, I've been working in the last three years. Uh, uh, trying to mentor them, talking to them, uh, establishing camps for them, assisting them whenever there's a problem. Uh, it is really emotional to work with them. These are people who are very innocent, very good uh, young people. And what you are seeing is at least Kenya and the government is, is there to support you, to make sure that you become a champion without using anything that is not acceptable. Uh, our young people should also maintain their integrity, their, 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 respect, uh, their, their, their reputation, and all the other things that also go in developing as a whole person, as a human being. Uh, they should not be cheated by uh, short-term uh, benefits that eventually will affect them, because this medication also will affect their health. And I can assure them that they don't have to use those medications at all, because they are champions. Some of us who ran, we ran clean. Others have done so well for this country without even touching anything of those. And I can assure you that uh, any, anybody who is young, who is try, who somebody who is trying to misguide them, please be sure to tell your parents, tell your teachers that whoever is trying to cheat you, to misguide you, report them so that we can deal with them so that uh, you don't end up with these kind of issues that are really affecting their future. Build your future career with the respect uh, it deserves so that you become responsible citizens as you grow up. The future is yours, but don't, don't destroy it.